What is up everyone? Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. Little tank update. It's been a long, long time. So shrimp update coming soon, but first we're going to do this tank update because I've been buying some corals and kind of filling this tank and I have been updating my reef tank vlog. So here we go. Um, it's mostly Zoas and Acans, but there's a couple of uh, other LPS and even a few uh, SPS thrown in there. Um, so I guess we'll start from top to bottom. As you can see, we have three bubble tip anemones. These are rainbow uh, with the filter. You can't really see the green too much, but it, there's some green in them. Uh, right there we have a sherbet. Um, chalice. I'm sorry, blank there for a minute. We have a sherbet chalice, a pink sherbet chalice. I got that from, most of these came from a reef creation in Buffalo, New York. It's one of my local shops. So we have some green star polyp on the back wall there. Uh, over here, we have some uh, worldwide coral jack-o'-lantern jack lithophyllum, also a chalice. Um, here we have some Fabia. There's a Bulbasaur Fabia. And uh, this one is a spicy lemon. And here is a small little $5 frag of Fox Flame uh, Acropora. I know it doesn't really look like an Acropora at the moment, but it'll get there. Moving on, up oh, here we have a little red Ferrari Acropora. What else we got here? Uh, Dark Knight Montipora. And then we have some two bird's nests. That was one frag that cracked on me. So now it is a uh, two different frags of bird's nests that I put on real close there. Just got these guys about a week ago. Haven't really had the polyps out too much yet. <clears throat> Up right there is a space monkey Fabia. It's back out, back out. Another bubble tip anemone. And now we get to basically my Zoa and Paleothoa and uh, Lord Garden. And my lords have not been happy uh, lately, and it's because I just started, I just got to the point where I've been starting to need to use a uh, two-part, and I don't have a sump, so I dose directly into the tank, and I actually have been using the um, bulk reef supply soda ash and calcium chloride, and then I use part C of the Tropic Marin Ballin method. But I dose it right into where my filter return comes in because that's like the highest flow in the tank. And I wasn't staggering um, the doses. So I would dose like um, <clears throat> five, six, seven mil mLs of soda ash at a time. And I think it would, uh, what the flow wasn't fast enough to get it and the pH or something happened. Um, where my A cans just haven't been happy since, and I killed. There was some uh, Sophastria on the back wall there that I just uh, I killed. I'm hoping it'll come back, but I have low hopes for it. Um, but we'll see what happens. But let's get back to the Zoa and Paleothoa rocks. So here, pardon it may be shaky because I'm gonna have to zoom in here. We have a rose nebula, and then there's a Bowser right there. Purple monsters. Mandarin oranges. Miami Vice. 
here we have a punk rocker that I just glued him, or that's the magician, sorry. Just glued that in there yesterday along with this punk rocker. And they're just both barely starting to open right now. We have some Rasta there, scrambled eggs. Um, here we have Armor of God. And then around the side, we have some Utter Chaos, some Sunny Delights. And then here is our Smurfette. There's a little half of a Ecamp Pop that cracked on me while I was fragging and I just decided to glue it there and it'll come back. Eagle Eyes and Radioactive Dragon Eye. Another A can and here we have some uh, Rainbow Hornet and Green People Eaters that I also glued in yesterday. They're not happy. That white's normally not there. That's just came when Maybe they, the air, if they didn't like the air too long in the air, I don't know. Uh, we have a Scarlet Fever. And then over here there's a Holly Berry. Some more uh, Lords. We keep on cruising over here. We have some, I believe those are Oxides or Bam Bams. I'm not really sure. I haven't got an idea on them yet. And then uh, here we have some Orange Hornet. One of them's closed apparently at the moment. And if we keep on cruising, there's the Scarlet Fever cruising down the rock work. We have some Green Bay Packer. A couple more AK or Lords. Some Blow Pops. Daisy Cutters. More of the Rose Nebula. Another Rasta. Some more Dragon Eyes. Another Lord. Uh, Blasto hanging out there. Another Lord. We have a uh, Rainbow Infusion. Sorry about the quality here. I'll try to get some better shots at some point in the future on a slower video. Uh, there's an, a Yoda. And it's a candy cane over there. And then over here on this rock, this was just for the anemones, but I am have this anemone is getting too big and taking up too much rock space. I'm gonna to try to move it downstairs when I get a chance. Um, it's getting a little too close to this frog spawn. And this, uh, that Bulbazar used to be right there, but I moved that as well. And then over here we have a ARC Fireball Zoanthid. I believe that wraps it up for everything on the rock work oh there's another another patch of rocks is down here and then uh, we have the frag racks this something i don't even know what it is i found it on one of the snails that i bought looks like some type of coral pulled it off maybe sophastria um we got some purple monster Orange Hornets, Rastas, Bride of Chucky, uh, that's our Rasta that's closed there. One single little Pikachu polyp. Uh, we have some Eagle Eyes with, and with a Radioactive Dragon Eye, Scarlet Fever, Utter Chaos, Fairy Tales that are barely open. Um, Emeralds on Fire, Frozen Hornets, Daisy Cutter, ARC Fireball, um, Acid Reflux, let's keep going, some, some Lords, AOI, Rainbow Incinerator, Mandarin Orange, Blow Pop, God of War, Armor of God, Yoda, Combustion Ganiapora, Vamps and Drag, Green Bay Packer, the Red Gani, Mary Jean, and uh, two more Lords. And that about wraps it up for this tank. Um, we'll run downstairs real quick and I'll get a shot of the frag tank. And this, unfortunately, is a cloudy mess that I've been trying to clean up. But it just clouds back up. I'll do 50% water change and then cloudy again. So I'm just going to let it go without messing with it for like two weeks and see if it clears itself up. 
Uh, but this is basically all the frags that you saw upstairs. Uh, there's more. They're all fragged up and uh, into here too. So, do a slow pan. Obviously cloudy. But we'll see if this tank gets cleared up soon or not. If it doesn't clear up by the time uh, the Amazon ban is over, I'll be buying, probably be buying another. I have a Sun Sun canister filter upstairs with the built in UV sterilizer that keeps the water crystal clear. Um, so I might buy it right here. There's no mechanical filtration on here other than this tiny little sponge filter that normally isn't on here. I just threw it on there to see if maybe it would help clear the water up. So it's basically just the protein skimmer and the rock and uh, the power head for filtration. So I have room down here for a sump. So eventually I build a sump, probably not with this tank. I have a couple, a couple 20 gallons and a couple extra tanks over here that I could uh, probably gonna use one of those 20 gallon longs and turn into a sump one of these days but i like the canister filter because it's really easy just to throw in carbon or throw in uh and it has the uv sterilizer built in or you can just throw your media bag of carbon or gfo or whatever you got to do rather than uh makeshift hang in front of the pump like this but that is the very very quick update of my corals um i will come back and this was like the all in all update of both the saltwater tanks um so i will come back and do a uh, video just on my zoa garden because that's what i'm most proud of upstairs but that's it for this one guys i hope you like it uh check you out next time later